guys, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today, guys. like this there will be like several clusters of them along here they are wild they grow wild at this time of the year just as spring starts you'll see them well just before the beginning of spring you start see them springing up no pun intended <laughs> they used to be used for medicinal purposes not so much now because they're considered poisonous this is another type so this has some spots on it let me see if I could get it properly all of these have some spots on them whereas the one I looked at before these also they have some spots they have some dark spots on them Whereas the one before did not have any. And there are some more here. Lords and Lords and Ladies. I guess they are different different um variety somewhat and the thing about lord and ladies the interesting thing about lord and ladies is that they are considered to be they used to be used a lot there's another one here's another batch and there are quite a few of them there i don't know to the extent to which they are used but but they used to be used medicinally. They're considered some, they're like, they've been likened to bleach. That's how they are to the system. So for uh, like tumors and so forth, that's what they have been used for in the past. But it's considered, uh, what should I say? Poisonous. It's considered poisonous. Uh, so it has to be used by someone who is skilled with using a herb like this. They say it can be used to remove tumors, debris, anything that needs to be removed from the body. It will remove it. As I noted, it, they say it acts, because I've never used it before, but based on the research, it is said that it acts like a detergent. It acts like bleach to the system. And as such, one has to be careful in using this herb. So when you go out in the wild, you will be seeing a lot of them now. Just be careful. Don't pick it and go and use it. You need to have good information and proper instruction if you use it at all. So that's lords and ladies guys. 